and all of the greats are in this. A few moths around at the moment. I think you've opened your wallet, Will. You don't say. <laughs> so, going in this, the European Commonwealth Games and Paralympic champion, David Ware, the Asian and world champion, Rawat Tana, seven times world champion, Marcel Hu. You'll see all of tonight's entrants have a bit of company. Anyway, Rawat Tana, the Asian and world champion, goals in the 15 and the five in Doha at the Worlds last year and uh, had done the same double in the Asian Games. Kurt Fernley, nothing faces him. Three Paralympic golds, four world titles, bronze in the 5,000 here, silver in the five in London. A marvellous 18 major championship medals for Saishan Kongshen at a global level, but no goals yet. Here is David Weir, the reigning European Commonwealth Games and Paralympic champion, very impressive five goals at the Europeans and four goals at London 2012. Haguchi of Japan, bronze in the five in the Asian Games in 2014, silver in the five, bronze in the 15 in the Worlds in uh, Lyon. Here's our 5,000 metres champion. It was his sixth Paralympic gold. Prawat Waharam of Thailand. Alassane Balde of Germany, ever improving. Silver in the 15 and the five. In the Europeans in Swansea, bronze in the 15 and 5. In Grisetto this year, Hong Suk Man of Korea, gold in the 400 way back when, 2008. Marcel Hu, 5,000 silver here. Seven world titles, no Paralympic titles. Is this the night he'll change it? And Lu Chengming of China, involved in the Asian Games, 4 by 4 gold. And the world title 4x4 Golden is the 800 world champion from China. These men are made of stern stuff. They're only concentrated on the racing and the goal. Underway then in the men's 1500 meters T54 final. David Hu. Uh, David Weir, the defending champion, Marcel Hoog, has been a world champion in this. And cutting inside immediately is Kurt Fernley. But Hoog, the silver bullet with the silver helmet, determined that he's going to leave Rio de Janeiro with at least one gold medal. Surely the greatest wheelchair racer around at the moment in the men's circuit, never to win a Paralympic title. It's Hoog bringing them round, the great Kurt Fernley, just behind him in second place and in the inside, it's the Chinese Lu Chon Ming with Rawatana stalking in fourth and David Weir in fifth with three laps to go. So Fernley just a little manoeuvre there on the outside as they head towards the back section. And back where they started from, they've completed a lap. Hu leads Liu the inside, then Fernley, then Wahoram on the outside. And here comes a manoeuvre already from one of the Thai athletes. Moving up on the outside to get to second. Conjun right up there. And also making a mid-race move. Coming up towards the home corner is Higuchi from Japan. So Higuchi's going to set them alight. Higuchi comes clear from in second, Tana. And then Wahoram in third place. So this has changed in a lap. Higuchi leads. Two Thai athletes, second and third. And then it's Hoog in fourth, currently fifth the inside. Yes, yeah, Higuchi leading them out, but his big advantage cut up very quickly. Lewis made a great break up on the inside. The two Thai athletes, great campaigners. Prawat Wara, Rawat Tana. Tana with that 15 and five goals back in Doha last year. He's made a good move up on the outside of Lu Chen Ming, bringing them clear. Hoog in third place. Weir is tucked quite nicely on the outside as well. Way down the field. But on the inside, it's Lu Chen Ming. And now Hoog on the outside. Here comes the bell. And surely the big move is on the way. Thailand in front. And it's Wahara. It's Waharam in front of Liu. And then we've got Hoog on the outside third. Further back is... Kurt Fernley tucked away, three back along the inside at the moment, trailing Balde, who's a fly in the ointment at the moment. 
and then Weir to the outside. So anybody's race with 200 metres to go. It is Horam the leader from Hoog Liu, and then came Weir trying to get involved. There's a fall back in the field. One of the Thai athletes has gone, but into the straight. It is Wahoram in front. Hoog's challenging, and then Konjan on the outside. But Wahoram's clear and will win it for Thailand from Hoog. And they were followed in next position by Conjun. Thailand first and third, and Weir and then Fernley behind them. So we've lost one along the way. It it's looks as though it's Tana there. The only three hundredths between them and Conjun in third place. And who knows what role Tana would have made if he'd stayed in it. Third for Conjun, fourth for David Ware, and Hook's weight continues finally coming through in fifth place finally behind who in our picture here they'd uh, campaign very strongly but there's just something right now about thai wheelchair racing waharam had won the 5000 meters they were so successful in doha and they're repeating that act here and hoog was coming all the time he looked as if he might have just edged it he had the momentum he was closing in and closing in a Waharam, but the line came too early for the Swiss. It's another great success for Prawat Waharam, who wins his seventh all-time Paralympic gold medal. And Hook, the silver bullet, has the silver medal. Third was Konjen, and Tana went over at the wrong time on the final bend. Yes, you can see David Weir as well. The winner of six Paralympic gold medals in fourth place. So a high quality final, but Wahoram three minutes 0 0.62, 0 0.52 outside his own Paralympic record. He was runner up in the 1500 metres in London. He goes one better here. And again, showing brilliant tactics to outthink Hoog in the end. Just a bit too big for Fernley on this occasion, finishing behind the place getters. Balde was looking dangerous there for a moment. Weir was steadily working into it. It shaped up to a terrific lap. They were so bunched up at the bell. But it was Wahoram, the 35-year-old, successful in the men's 1500-metre T54 final.